Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today we'll speak a little bit about why Jetson is dying or at least why it will be not the same as it was all these 10 years. So let's start. I started to work with Jetson in 2015. At that time we did a prototype what has become Artec Leo in a few years and since then there was more than 10 different projects based on Jetson. And mostly it was pretty okay experience during all this time. But let's speak why I think it's dying and why it will lost its market in one year. What did Jetson unique platform in 2014-2015? It was this only one platform where you could easily run your neural network on GPU, which was trained on GPU, without big problems. Also, this plat platform provided pretty low energy consumption and pretty good computational power. A few years later, like 2017-2020, Jetson was used mostly in all industries. For example, like cameras for traffic recognition or some cameras which can proceed in some facilities. But there was less and less usage over the years. Why? Because there was more and more cheap NPU boards. One of the first examples, Hewa, pretty nice, but it was not a single one because there was a lot of different boards with smaller computational power, for example, NPUs from Bare Silicon, Hades was pretty popular, or NPU from Rock Chips, and a lot different boards. So if you needed just a fast horse for fast inference, Jetson was not the cheapest board, not the easiest in development. But Jetson fixed this crisis and they rerun this Jetson Orange series in 2022-2023 and it was definitely a shift of paradigm because Jetson Orin Nana it was around 70 tops GPU. It was much more than almost all competitors at that time. But Jetson also had the second trump card. It had a super nice stack which allow you to run neural network easily, even in PyTorch. And it was pretty unique because for most of all platform like three, four years ago, you should like export your neural network with a lot of uh, bells and whistles or uh, it was required for you to use like low, com low power platforms. And because of this, Jetson was a main solution in situation when you have a complex neural network which you need to run on the edge. And there was a strict division. If you need to run simple neural networks, just took Hala. If you need like stereo depth estimation or something more complex, just use Jetson. And now we are at the end of 2025. Is there any reason to use Jetson now? I don't think so. The same performance you can take from a variety of different platforms. There was Accelera on this channel. Halo was with previous board, but now they have a next board, CMAI, Subphone. And if you take in account that Jetson has almost useless DLA, which I covered in my previous video, easily can beat this GPU Jetson performance. So why I think situation is changing specifically now? Because now the second big advantage of Jetson is falling down. Because Jetson always was a platform that provide one of the easiest experience of neural network running. But now Jetson is not like this. Intel support direct, expert and inference in OpenVINA 
better than TensorRT. And you also can run your ne neural network directly with PyTorch. Just check this Nook, for example. It's cheaper than same box from uh, Seed Studio with Jets and Nana with about the same performance. The next generation of Intel uh, with Panther Lake should outperform Jetson a lot. Qualcomm is not the great board, uh, but it provides pretty solid experience when you're working with uh, their libraries. You can check one of my previous videos about Radx Dragon. AMD. It's pretty nice GPU uh, and it also support PyTorch out of the box. And on NPU, you can run some LLMs. You also can check my video. Yes, it's not as good for now as this Intel Nook or as this Qualcomm, but it's also pretty easy Ubuntu experience. With Jetson, you need to run your neural network on TensorRT if you want maximum performance. And also on the Jetson, you need to work with their version of Ubuntu, which sometimes it's not the easiest experience. You need to use the containers and so on. We will discuss this a little bit later. What's providing NVIDIA now as a next generation? They providing Jetson Soar. Is it the good edge solution? I don't think so. Uh, it's not the edge box. It has super big per, uh, cons energy consumption. It's pretty big. Uh, the price is huge. If you will check direct competitors, direct competitors here, they are not in this old generation box. You need to look on different GPU. So you need to look on some competitors like this Intel GPU, like NVIDIA gaming GPU, or at this Huawei GPU. The only plus of this Jetson Soar, it has pretty big amount of memory, but it's a little bit questionable. Do you really need on some edge application such amount of memory for running your neural networks? Because mostly you, if it's edge application, if it's some VLA, VLM or other, you probably will run uh, just 7B or even smaller models. It's where we are heading right now uh, with robot control, with auto. So I don't think that right now it's a comprehensive uh, solution and as I see, even a lot of companies which require such big edge processors, they just stream in everything in cloud. And it's actually, it's easier. So, and let's return to this final point. When I speaking about all this complexity of Jensen infrastructure, 10 years ago, Jetson provided the easiest one. Now, you need to build a specific container with specific version of um, TensorRT. You need to find this container. You need to check and debug. It's pretty often when you can't run something specific on this container, you need to choose which jetpack, which container you want to utilize. For some jetpack switch, you need to reflash your devices. You can't do this uh, just reflashing on flight. And few years ago, NVIDIA definitely improved the experience. And it's improved this experience mostly because one guy, this guy, who was like uh, leading a big community around uh, Jetson boards. And he provided a lot of containers. You maybe saw them, uh, Dustin and V containers. Uh, and he provided a lot of stuff that support all these problems and infrastructure. And actually, uh, it was again a pretty nice experience with NVIDIA. But NVIDIA recently fired him and I don't know if they will continue to support all this uh, community 
and because previously there was eight year when they didn't do this uh, nicely so right now a lot of competitors which already are better than nvidia jetson it's a pretty strange new product which uh, has like competition not from competitors but from the current infrastructure and the current uh, world vision and the totally broken support of community intel do this better qualcomm do this better right now so i'm like a little bit concerned about the future of the jets thank you for watching bye